enter into those hearts. Our teacher, Sheikh Muhammad Saeed Ramadan al Buti, rahmatullahi alayhi, used to tell us that in his locality there was a man, and every night this man would be drunk. Every night this man would be drunk on the streets of Damascus, and he would see people walking towards the masjid at Fajr time. Many would avoid him because of his ill speech towards them and his bad state that they would see. They would avoid him walk towards the masjid every single night. One day the Shaykh said, I saw that same man in the masjid for Fajr. The people looked towards him and they thought he forgot the way home and he ended up in the masjid. He left the masjid and he went. At Zuhr time this man was in the masjid again. The Shaykh said, I went and spoke to him and I said, so tell me your story. And the man said, my story is known by everyone in this locality. Everyone knows my story that I was a man who would sit every night and be drunk whilst people would walk to the masjid, to the house of Allah for Fajr. And I would abuse them. I would insult them. But this night was the night of change. This night was the night that changed my entire life. The Sheikh said, tell me. And the man said, when I saw people walking towards the masjid and I heard the Mu'addin say, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. And he raised the voice. He raised his voice with the name of Allah. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. It struck my heart. When it struck my heart, I was ashamed of the state that I was in. I was ashamed of what I had done. And I ran home. I ran home and I locked myself away in my room. And I said, I went onto my knees. I dropped down in, in, in humbleness, in humility before the creator of the heavens and the earth, before the one who has might in his hands, before the one who, if he wants, he could destroy this entire world in an instant before the one who has the mountains as his soldiers, who has the wind as his soldiers, who has the heavens and the earth as his soldiers. And no one knows of his soldiers except he. I broke down in humbleness and humility before him and I raised my hands towards the heavens and I said, Ya Rabb, there is a barrier between me and I cannot break it, but I know you can. He said, when I said that, that barrier broke and Allah's mercy came into my heart and I was in the masjid for Fajr. I was in the masjid for Fajr. That man, his life changed from, from a moment, from an instant, from a second. It changed and he turned towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the friendships of the dunya that he left behind friendship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Such a friendship that people across this world remember this man with this story. We're sitting here today and speaking about this drunken man who would insult the people who walk to the masjid. And we're speaking about him today as one of the only of Allah. One of the friends of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But how did that occur? It didn't occur from years and years and years of worship. It didn't occur from Hajj after Hajj after Hajj after Hajj. It didn't occur from Umrah after Umrah, recital of Quran and fasting. It occurred from a moment of brokenness before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, an instant of brokenness in which he said, Ya Rabb, break those barriers that between me and you. And Allah broke them for him because Allah says, Inna Allah la yughayyiru ma bi qawmin hatta yughayyiru ma bi anfusihim Allah does not change the situation of a people until they change their own situation and when they change their situation Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala his mercy is waiting for them his mercy is waiting to embrace them his mercy is waiting to take them in and to the highest ranks of friendship not with the people of the dunya who when a person will reach their grave, will leave them, but with the creator of the heavens and the earth, who is awaiting them in their graves, 
who is awaiting them on the day of standing and each and every one of these stations that Lord will say, come towards my mercy. I have been waiting for you, O oh my servant. Because the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam